on the surface, Tamaki Makoto is an active city. But did you know that underneath of us, the ground is also active? We lie on a volcanic hotspot, which over thousands of years has created over 50 volcanoes. Pukekawa, Maunga Fou, and Maunga Kiakia are just some of the volcanoes that dot our landscape. Differing phases of volcanic eruptions have formed peninsulas, maunga, basins, and lakes. Explosive eruptions are the result of a violent steam explosion that can be dangerous. These explosions can spew out rocks and massive clouds of ash. If the volcano rises on the land, the magma may come into contact with groundwater or swampy areas. If it rises under the sea, it will come into contact with sea water. This phase builds a ring of ejected material around the explosion crater. You can see this at Pukekoa, the volcano underneath Auckland Museum. Maybe you've climbed Maunga Fo or Maunga Kiakia. These volcanic cones went through a second eruption phase called a fire fountain. Lava rises through a vent and starts to fountain, piling on top of itself to build cones made of scoria. Scoria is made of lava with a frothy and bubbly texture. Many of our maunga are surrounded by lava bombs, which are larger bits of lava thrown from the crater and spun through the air. Once pressure slows down, the lava stops fountaining and starts to pool in the volcano. At this point, the buildup of lava is so great that it bursts out of the scoria cone, which flows and oozes down the landscape. Auckland's lava isn't very sticky, which means it can travel for some distance. Mayola Reef in Point Chevalier was created by the lava flow from Mount St. John, Te Kōpuke, all the way in the Rimuera. Much of our lava flow has created a rock called basalt, which has historically been used to build houses, roads and walls. <laughs>